Hello, I'm Simulator Deck and welcome back to Middle East Truck Simulator. Today, we're on our last run in the Middle East for a while. Drive safe. We are in Mafrak in Jordan. We're on our way to the port. Good morning to Skynet. It's um, just after 4am on Sunday. We've just had a rest. Now, by looking on the map, it appears as though our route's been changed. Um, we're no longer going to um, Port Said. We're going to Ashdod to get onto the ferry. So we'll go to Ashdod. Alright, let's go. We've got a load of wheat on board heading to Lithuania. Underground oh, oh, hang on. Take the second exit. What have we got here? Okay, that's cleared up. Road closed ahead, so they're building a road up there to the Syrian border, or maybe they've just closed the Syrian border in that direction. Exit now. That's probably more likely. They've probably closed the Syrian border. They have re probably reduced the number of border crossings with Syria. Obviously a really long delivery will take you to the ferry and that will conclude the this series of um, Middle East Truck Simulator. Uh, driver Mimi, she's made another short delivery. She seems to do short deliveries, Driver Mimi. on here. Oh, it's a 60 zone through here, okay. Oh, we're coming up to one of our garages, but we couldn't make it here last night. We got knocked off twice, we got fined twice for fatigue offences while we were in the um, while we we're in the fuel station. That's all right, apparently. Now. 
as an Australian, it's always interesting to me to, when you see a, when you see a sign that says "To Israel, Syrian border, Iraqi border," because it's just not it's just not a thing in Australia, obviously. All right, here we go out into the remoteness again. 80 kilometres an hour. The general speed limit's 90. We're 26 kilometres away from the border into Israel by the looks of that sign. Oh, I almost didn't pay attention. Imagine how many stamps I'd have in my simulated passport. Bye, George. So our next rest stop is just under 10 hours time, shouldn't take us 10 hours to get to the ferry from here and then that will reset, and that will reset our um, fatigue meter. Fish Finger Shop Company. Turn right.
how did I used to do this without voice navigation? Turn right and then turn left. Seems to be a lot of these turn, turn rights and turn the lefts, or vice versa. It's poetic that I've arrived in that that I'll be arriving at Ashdod to get the ferry because I from memory arrived in Ashdod on this series. made a four eight uh, five hundred and forty eight dollar sorry euro delivery right So somehow this is, um, Skynet's judged this to be the shortest route, even though we could have stayed on the freeway. Because it looks like we're going to join up with another freeway, not necessarily the five. started to rise on my last day in the Middle East for a while. Malcolm, excellent delivery, almost 8,000 euro. Keep left. Keep left, good 
Goodbye. Interestingly, Keep right and then exit right. I think I'm heading to Ashdod, but it's told me to go a different way. Although this sign says Ashdod exit as well, so. Right. Good timing, good timing. There's our Ashdod Depot. Skynet, it's so all under control. We have made it to the ferry.
but are we in the right spot? That's a good question. Because I'm right over... I'm right over the icon. Ah, here we go, we drove straight over it to view possible travel destinations, press enter. Uh, before we do that, I want to make sure the name of the port that we're supposed to actually go to. So, leaving the Middle East. Continuing to go. Oh no! Oh no, this isn't about to crash, is it? Back in a minute. Uh, well, we ready weren't to ready to rock Skynet, but we weren't back too far um, after that game crashed, fortunately. Now, one of the bad things about removing the glowy green objects is sometimes not exactly sure where I need to be. Try this again. Didn't want to work before. There we go, okay. Oh, there's only one route to take, thankfully. Finding a new route. Okay. We are now arriving into Greece. Reroute. Welcome to Greece. Time to hit the road sky net. Welcome to Greece. Welcome back to our Turn left. European truck simulator fans. Uh, Middle Eastern viewers from well, Middle Eastern Truck Simulator, you're quite welcome to um, join us as we complete the next stage of our journey. Get ready to turn right. Alright, get ready to turn right, Skynet. Turn right. Alright, as we do turn right, whoops, our next rest stop is in just under 11 hours, hokey dokey. So 
So lots of driving through the night for us and until about 8.30 roughly Tuesday morning. Skynet. Going at so a lot of this route we would would have done in the opposite direction when we were driving to the Middle East. Now we're driving from the Middle East, and it was certainly a lot of fun to be driving in the Middle East for a while there. There will be another series of Middle Eastern Truck Simulator at some point, maybe when there's been a major update to the map. Keep right, and then exit right. Exit right. it out that with the other truck simulators episodes that I've recorded this year plus the ones that I have planned but haven't recorded yet I could basically have an episode a week and it would take me to 2025 and it's only February 2024 now. You know, with one episode a week. And when I consider that at the moment there's 25 episodes of the Australian series waiting to drop, in total, you know, there'd be, I think, 32. Um, episodes of the um, Japan Simulator. I got the police here. Got a bit pulled over. That's cool because it's not me. another delivery 413 euro oh, this will be a toll beef wider than the Japanese ones.
certainly a lot friendlier looking than the um, Middle Eastern ones. Start the border check, press A. I don't know what country I'm going into. I did have a look, I think it's North Macedonia. Republic of North Macedonia. Would have been helpful if I had seen that in one of those signs when I was coming into the country in the first place at the other end. Keep left. I spent ages trying to figure out what country I was in. an interesting exercise I think. Motorway of friendship. Um, what would be interest, interesting in one way, when I think about the geography that I learned in high school in the late 80s, early 90s, that's the 1990s by the way, um, of course, um, to think about all of the countries that have had a name change or a spelling change since I was in high school. You know, when I think about countries that basically don't exist anymore in their current form, you know, Yugoslavia, the USSR, there's so many, even, even city names that I had that I'd heard about, even not necessarily in Europe, but also across Asia and in India and places like that. I don't know if there'd be a way to easily find that, but it would be interesting to think, even in very recent memory, um, in the world, but in the English-speaking media, for instance, um, it's a lot easier. It's very more common these days, rather, to find the more traditional spelling of the country Turkey compared to how it was presented before. Um, when I was growing up, the country of Chile. now usually pronounced in the media as Chile. Now simple things like that, Ho Chi Minh City. And, and there's quite a few across the... There's quite a few 
across the um, quite a few across the world. And as we come up to another toll booth. Driver Anna just made an awesome delivery of nearly 8,000 euro. That sound gives me anxiety because I think I've received a ticket for something and it's just me paying a toll. So I've got 27 hours and 55 minutes of driving remaining. Needless to say, we're not going to finish that all on this episode. It'd be nice just to stay on the one freeway for a while. feeling he was going to come in front of me. Um, Euro truck fans who may not have come with me on the Middle East journey. Um, you may be wondering why I'm driving a Kenworth. Um, I downloaded a mod, there's no surprise, and I thought I wonder what it would be like to drive one of these Kenworths in the Middle East. So I was driving around the Middle East for a while. After um, going from my home base in Tripoli, taking a couple of jobs. And then I ended up in Iraq. And from Iraq, the only deliveries that I could make out of this particular city that I was in, Al Qayyim, um, were to European destinations. Once you've accepted a load, you can't you can't swap trucks. So I will be making this delivery as many episodes as that takes. Probably this one, at least one more, and then I'll be switching to. 
my European profile and setting up my European network. And as I've mentioned before, I will be back in the Middle East at some stage, but... Keep right, and then exit right. Another checkpoint, another country, I believe. Oh. All right, border check time. So we say goodbye to North Macedonia. Keep right and then exit right. And now we're entering, entering Serbia. Serbia we are. station just near the border. Don't need any fuel yet. Been here for five seconds and we need to pay a toll already. Driver Darko couldn't find a job and had to return empty. So just to recap where I've got, where I'm using maps and what they are. We're now in, we're now in Europe and this is using the Pro Mods maps for Europe. We were in the Middle East and using the Middle Eastern map from Pro Mods. Also been to Japan that uses Project Japan as Euro Truck Simulator as its base. Uh, there's also a series in Australia which I've called Outback Australia Truck Simulator, and that uses American Truck Simulator as its base. And I'm also using um, American Truck Simulator. Um, I have used map mods for it in the past but I am using the original maps however I am using mods with that as well one of the mods that I'm using which is at the top of the screen 
is um, yet another rail advisor and that shows I so much prefer it to the original I can turn the map at the bottom of the screen off should I choose to but I find that the information on not another yet another round advisor is very cool from the top on the left hand side we've got our fuel gauge the one next to that is our damage meter for our truck current local time the eye is our fatigue meter underneath of the, underneath that we've got the distance and time to go in the center what gear we're in what our current speed is and what the limit is on the right hand side we've got our current account balance and messages for when our drivers do deliveries and our estimated time of arrival underneath that our ETA which at the moment is Wednesday just after 5 a.m. but of course I'll need to sleep once if not twice before that so that's going to be pushed out obviously and then I've got the map down the bottom which is transparent so I can also see what's behind it so I like that one I'm really liking the mod that I'm using to eliminate the green icons so it replaces them with um, manhole covers or if I'm loading or unloading with um, traffic cones which in Australia I'd call witches hats So I sometimes have no idea what some of the signs mean. Um, others I can guess. That brown one, I had absolutely no idea. I guess I'm he heading towards Belgrade.
told me from coming up. Now, unless I see a sign for a truck, say truck signs, I'm just going to the nearest one. Nearest one that's not closed. And now that the green icons aren't there, that manhole cover represents the green icon. advisor at the top call a Skynet. When I first started using the truck simulators they didn't have voice navigation and then I didn't play for a while and then I came back and oh voice navigation is an option sweet. Now for the European maps and Japan etc I use um, her name is actually Sky, Sky with an E, and it says um, Sky UK. Now, why I call her Skynet is because of the Terminator movies. You know, Skynet knows everything. So, um, so now her nickname is Skynet, so I talk to her as if she's actually a person. So even on the Australian map I use, I use Skynet, um, the only country that I don't use her voice for is the American map and I'm using a Morgan Freeman voice mod using the uh, voice of Mr Morgan Freeman. Should really be Sir Morgan Freeman by now but Pretty she'd be Sir Morgan Freeman by now, I reckon. So the sun should be coming up soon. It's been good, it's been all motorway driving. So that's been good. It's obviously a very sterile version of Europe um, in terms of all I'm basically seeing is motorway. You know, the main difference is just the signs and the, and the toll booths, etc. at this stage. Like, I feel like I'm there because of the signs, but and plus it's dark, being it's dark too. That doesn't help as we approach 6 a.m. So we've got under a 
today's actual driving to go now. Probably have to take two rest stops. Eight hole, 1500 metres. this one-to-one -one scale. So for every minute you were driving, it'd be a minute in real life. End of toll road, you have to pay 23 euro. The next toll will be for border crossing, I should see how long I've got to go before I need to have a rest. Start to go off an hour before you get tired. Ah, oh, one hour thirty three, so ninety minutes. Driver Josh couldn't find it a job and had to return empty. Driver MT Kuga. Sorry, Skynet, I was talking about MT Cougar. MT Cougar, 922 euro. Turn left. Oh, fire truck, I haven't seen one of those for a while. And an ambulance.
go straight on. Thank you, Skynet. Sky and it. Oh, we have to go that way. We've got no choice. Another thing that is gone, and maybe that's why that concrete part, that concrete wall was there. The X's of Doom. I've replaced them as well. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn, turn right. right. Spaghetti Junction, Skynet. before the mod that changes all the icons on the maps that includes the um, the crosses of doom that you can't go past okay so we're 362 kilometers from Budapest stop coming up. to end the episode here at Belgrade. Oh, I'm still on it. have the mirrors on. So here we are. We're all parked up. I believe that must be this rest area over there. You're getting tired. I know. I'm here. Thank you very much for watching. You've been awesome. I've been Simulator Dirk. Thanks to our Middle Eastern viewers. If you would like to continue on and watch this delivery be made, I'll leave information on the screen for you so you can follow along. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back in the Middle East soon, continuing this delivery for Europe. I've been Simulator Dirk. You've been wonderful. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.